Blanche Alder is deserving of this highest honor because of her tremendous accomplishments over several decades as a researcher, educator, astute clinician, patient advocate, and personal mentor to many. Blanche has really revolutionized the study of inherited bone marrow failure syndromes, pulling them all together and understanding them as a group of disorders. Blanche was known in the red cell world for a long time. She also had inherited this responsibility to sort of take over the world of the inherited marrow failure syndromes from her mentor, David Nathan. She realized that we didn't have the scientific data we needed to really understand these disorders in the fact that there is a wide spectrum of clinical complications, of cancer types, she came here in the NCI with this vision of being able to organize studies um, that were more comprehensive and unique. The study was designed to identify families in which one or more people had IBMFS. Our role really was to well characterize the individual, the family members, both those who did and didn't have the disorder, to characterize the heterozygotes or the carriers, depending on the genetic pathway, and then to um, provide cancer screening before that word had even occurred in the vocabulary. One of the things that Blanche did was to collect the data in a way that allowed her to estimate what the risks of cancer were site by site in the families. And so that's what the study is leading to now, to screen these individuals, to diagnose cancers at an early stage, to use biomarkers that can be studied so that we can develop preventive strategies for these tumors even before they develop. It's a treasure trove of data and um, information that continues to be mined for you know, improving outcomes for the patients. The most important part of the work that Dr. Alter has done through this program has been incorporating the patients and families in everything we do. I've connected with most people that have my disease in the United States as a result of being involved in the study. What I love the most um, is being able to be a part of the research so that it's something that can help other patients. It's a great reminder to think about all of this work and all of this data and how it will benefit the community in the future. I was involved with the development of family support groups and I think they're very important. She recognized that with more people, with more connections, the more we can learn, the more we discover, the faster we can make changes. We have an organization, the Fanconi Anemia Research Fund, and she was like at the first meeting where they got together and said, okay, we're gonna form this organization to raise money and try to figure out what Fanconi anemia is and what are we gonna to do to help cure this disease. Just to be able to connect with other families and realize that you're not alone, working together to kind of fuel research and engage is just invaluable. Blanche knew all the patients and she knew all the family members. She went to Camp Sunshine every summer. She could come to Camp Sunshine and do Fanconi 101. She would come in and do this lecture and talk to parents. But if you know something about it. She gives of herself uh, all the time and the ability to interconnect with everybody, uh, not only the parents, but the children especially, is uh, really her specialty. She also will just do whatever needs to get done. If she needs to be that stubborn thorn in someone's side to get something done, she will do it for her patients. She's very, like, uh, I would say caring, like, passionate about not just, like, the patients, but uh, the disease. Blanche has always given me peace of mind because I know she's out there doing this very um, intense work to help all of us. 
Wallace Coulter was very rigorous and very passionate about his work in the same way that Blanche Alter was. And that passion is really important for the care of patients moving forward. I think Dr. Blanche Alter is highly deserving of the Wallace H. Coulter Award for Lifetime Achievement in Hematology because she brought comprehensive, detailed, epidemiologically, statistically sound based approaches to understanding the causes of bone marrow failure syndromes and showed how incredibly important it is to work with the patients. Being an awardee of the Coulter Award is very important for me because it recognizes the fact that I spent a long career in hematology, that I trained a lot of people, and it's really nice to know that there's a way to get recognition for that, and I appreciate my colleagues who nominated me.